Robert Sorby is delighted to welcome Nick Cook, legendary woodturner and co-founder of the American Association of Woodturners, to showcase his skills. In a series of short films, Nick provides some handy techniques and shows us how to achieve eight useful projects using his favourite Robert Sorby tools. Our next project is going to be a pen, and it can be a ballpoint pen, a marker pen, or a fountain pen. It can be any number of things. It's one of the many kits available for turning, and it's how most people get started in turning. So we've already cut our blank to length. We're going to insert it into the special jaws for drilling pen blanks, lock it in place. We're going to use the appropriate size drill bit, and it's going to vary from one kit to the next. And with the drill set, I'm going to run the lathe about four to 500 RPMs. Just gently start and depending on the type of wood, you may want to start and stop frequently as the chips tend to fill up the helix of the drill bit and will make it hot and also make the drill bit wander. So go slowly and always hold on to the drill chuck as you're drilling as if it comes out of the quill it will be a large hunk of iron just fluffing around. So you can see it gets packed up around here rather tightly and I don't like to extend the quill more than about halfway so about a half inch at a time and then withdraw it pull the shavings out and go again I'm going to take this out we're going to take the brass for the pin kit put a little CA glue on it avoiding getting it on our fingers and sort of twist it in and bring it right up to the surface. It's going to take it a few minutes to set up. While it is setting up, I'm going to take and just trim the end flush and then reverse it And just a little scraping cut. I'm going to reverse it and do the same thing on the other end. And we're flush. that should be ready to turn. Remove the chuck. Set up the pen mandrel. And using the appropriate bushings, We're going to apply that to the mandrel, lock it in place, bring up the tail stock,
And for this, I like to use the skew. This is going to give us a nice clean cut. And we're not removing a great deal of wood, so you don't have to worry about roughing it down. We're going to give it a little bit of shape, leaving it just a tiny bit bulbous in the center, taking it down to the, the bushings on either end. Many of the pins require two turnings. This one only requires one. Now you can sand and finish it with your favorite finish. Remove the bushings. The pen assembler. This one requires a little bushing with threads on it. It's going to go right up in here. Pushes in just like that. We're going to take the spring, put it here. Push this up into here, and this should all screw together just like that, and we have a pin. This project can be sanded and finished as needed, and if you'd like more information, go to the Robert Sorby website or visit our YouTube channel.